Tree of Heaven, Alanthus atissima, commonly referred to as Alanthus, is a rapidly growing invasive tree found across much of the United States. Property owners need to learn to identify this tree before applying control measures. It is imperative that the tree be accurately identified since there are several native lookalikes it can be confused with. Tree of Heaven has what is referred to as a pinnately compound leaf or a leaf with a central stem called a rachis lined with as many as 41 leaflets. Common native trees that have a similar pinnately compound leaf structure include sumac, walnut, hickory, ash, locust, and box elder. Be sure to differentiate between these species. Since staghorn sumac and black walnut are common and often found growing in similar areas as Tree of Heaven, we will focus on these two native lookalikes. Here is the leaf of staghorn sumac. As you can see, like Tree of Heaven, the leaves are also pinnately compound with a central stem or rachis. However, staghorn sumac leaves are shorter than Tree of Heaven, ranging from 16 to 24 inches long and having anywhere from 9 to 31 leaflets. This close-up shows the margins or edges of staghorn sumac leaflets. As you can see, they are not smooth like Tree of Heaven but have teeth or serrations along the edge. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the leaflets. Tree of Heaven is on the left and staghorn sumac is on the right. Note the smooth margin and presence of one or two glandular teeth at the base of the leaflets on Tree of Heaven. The fruit of staghorn sumac is a red fuzzy droop, a fleshy fruit with thin skin and central stone containing the seed. It is found in persistent upright clusters. Staggard sumac has stout brown twigs covered with fuzz like deer antlers and velvet, thus its name, staghorn sumac. The bark of staghorn sumac remains fuzzy for several years, ultimately turning gray-brown and smooth. What distinguishes it from Tree of Heaven bark are the numerous horizontal marks called lenticels, as shown in this photo. Lenticels are raised pores on the stem that allow for gas exchange. Like Tree of Heaven, staghorn sumac grows in dense colonies or clones and is dioecious, meaning there are separate male and female trees. Shown here is a colony of female trees as indicated by the numerous red fruit clusters. These help to identify staghorn sumac from a distance. Another commonly confused Tree of Heaven native lookalike is black walnut. The leaves of black walnut on the left are also pinnately compound like Tree of Heaven, but shorter, ranging from 12 to 24 inches long and having anywhere from 13 to 23 leaflets. And once again, unlike Tree of Heaven, the edges or margins of the leaflets are toothed or serrated. As you can also see on the left, the bark of black walnut is much different than Tree of Heaven. Black walnut bark is dark brown and has a rough diamond-shaped pattern. The fruit of black walnut is also very different from that of Tree of Heaven. It is a round nut covered with a husk. The husk turns black and decomposes once it falls from the tree. Tree of Heaven has a papery wing surrounding the seed and is called a samara. The black walnut twig is not as stout as that of Tree of Heaven or staghorn sumac and contains a terminal bud at the end of the twig. Also, black walnut leaf scars, shown on the left, have three lobes, which some say resemble the face of a monkey. Tree of Heaven leaf scars on the right are more heart-shaped. Lastly, if you cut open a black walnut twig, you will see the center, or pith, is chambered, as shown here on the left. This is very different than the pith inside twigs of both Tree of Heaven and staghorn sumac, which are brown and spongy as seen on the right. Although Tree of Heaven has some native lookalikes, it can be easy to distinguish from other trees through close examination. Compare the leaves, bark, twigs, and seeds to identify whether you're looking at Tree of Heaven, staghorn sumac, or black walnut. Be sure to make these distinctions before applying any control measures.